Hey everyone, this is Renee from Tippy.com, and today we are looking at iPhone apps on the iPad, or pixel doubling. When Steve Jobs and Scott Forstall demonstrated the iPad back in March, they said that you could run the 150,000 iPhone apps, well most of them, and it's not the camera ones, but most of them, uh, would just work on the iPad. So uh, the way that happens is you either get a little letter and pillar boxed version of the iPhone, looks almost like an emulator in the middle of the screen, or you can click a button and pixel double it. So it, it literally makes twice as many vertical and twice as many horizontal pixels for the app and tries to fill the screen. Um, some developers weren't happy with that, so they made universal binaries where it will give you a custom iPad application, uh, sorry, a custom iPad interface when you launch it. Uh, instead of doing the iPhone version. Others decided to do separate iPhone and iPad apps and those are the ones we're going to look at because they're the ones we can actually see side by side. So uh, here's a Wikipedia app. Uh, they tend to launch in portrait no matter what the orientation is but you can get them to change. So here we have the iPhone version of the application and this is in normal size. You can pixel double it, blow it up and because it's text, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, it's slightly blurry, but it's not too bad. It does feel a little bit claustrophobic because everything is, mac is, is optimized for an iPhone screen where every pixel counts. So here, where you have so many of them, it still feels uh, just a little bit like you're, you're being kept in, in a way. Like watching standard def TV on a high def display. But, you know, it, it is very usable. You get the panel sliding because there's no popovers, obviously, on the iPhone. But, you know, it, it, it does work. If you look at the iPad version, however, you can see that they really make use of the larger canvas. Wow, how cliché does that sound? And you have the controls at the top, like an iPad app. Like, like sorry, like an iPhone. Like, uh, yeah, like an iPad app. And you can just go to the different areas you get the popovers so it's not as modal it's not shifting you back and forth across displays as much but again for text it, it may not bother you especially if you don't want to spend another five bucks for a different version of the same application for gaming um, let's take a look so here we have real racing the iPhone version and we are going to pixel double this bad boy. And you can see there's a little bit of aliasing going on, a little bit of the blurry double chunky, but it is it is still pretty good. It's it's kind of like I don't have a good analogy. It's kind of like if you watched a DS game on a, a smallish but a realish TV. Let's get into the actual game. Quick race. So you can see again, it's it's not bad. I mean, is it it's Nintendo Wii compared to a PlayStation Three? Maybe, but. If you've already bought this game, you, you might be happy with this. I'm sorry, it's going to be very hard for me to actually drive while working around the camera here. Alright, so now we'll look at the HD version which is essentially the same game, just Fireman spent a lot of time um, making sure it looked good at this size and also optimizing the use of screen space because you can do a lot more again with this bigger screen. This is Real Racing HD. See there's no uh, jaggies in this version. All the graphics are crisp and clear. 
it also um, doesn't pop up as many things, so it makes me happy. And again, I apologize. And not, not that I can actually play this game well when I have no camera in the middle of us, but... There you go. Alright, next up. We have Nova, which is, you know, a first-person shooter. Don't send me push notifications. I don't need to know when Jeremy Sakura wants to try to kill me on Nova. So, pixel double away. And again, this looks good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. It is a little bit jagged. But all in all... It looks quite playable. But we have the HD version here. I haven't played this yet on the iPad, so it's not as far ahead. So you can see the controls are better positioned for an iPad version of the game. The graphics are just unbelievably good looking. And again, I not that I can play this well. But it in general it makes use of much it makes use of the screen to a much greater degree. Um, something simpler, more casual perhaps. Here we have We Rule. 